everybody. Welcome to another episode of Throwback Thursday. I'm back with Marcel, and he is playing his Spires again. He had so much fun playing them, and they leveled up so much in the first game that we played, the raid, that we thought it was fitting to end our little like stint of playing Necromunda yeah. together um, with a final showdown between Dutch and the Spiders and the Silent Death. The hunters become the hunted. It's like the end of Predator. I'm going to get a giant tree and put it over a pit and then roll it on top of you and then tell you you're an ugly, ugly <laughs> mother Spire. So, okay, this time have to deal with some <laughs> That's true. It's going to be terrifying because they leveled up so much in the first game it wasn't even funny. Um, so we're going to pick a mission. We're going to well, we're going to roll off and see what happens. The narrative always gets driven by the dice. Um, we'll uh, see what the mission is. We'll show you the teams and we'll get started. And so here's the Silent Death, two Jakaras, Hulk hands the Aorus, Venom the Malkadon, and the Yeld there who has now debuted. He was not actually in um, the first game because he was not part of the attacking raid party. So let's take a look at the spiders. And here's the Necromunda Spiders, my guard vet or uh, Orlock gang from some classic uh, 2003 Fanatic era Orlocks, as well as some Katachan bits and pieces. Um, we've got Dutch, uh, or I like to call him now Batman because he's got a grapnel, <laughs> and that's my gang leader with his sword and plasma pistol. We've got my um, my heavy here with his heavy stubber last pistol and knife. My two juvies, and then my ganger posse here. We've got Chips with his mohawk and big scar on his face. Uh, Spex, who's my backup gang leader, and then a posse of other guys with auto guns, last guns, and last pistols. All right, rolling on the scenario chart for a campaign game. Let's we'll see what we get. Um, as the Spires can always roll in the regular one, it's going to be eight, which is the player with the lower gang rating chooses. See, if you want, you can just do a straight up gang Let's fight. Let's do a gang fight. The gang fight it is. Eight inch deployment. We'll roll off right now for choosing a table edge. I got a five. You get a five. stop that, or let's do it again. <laughs> I get a four, you get a three. All right, so I'm gonna be over here because I'm lazy and I start over here. Uh, we get an eight inch deployment, dice off for first turn, it goes into one side bottles. Deployed, I've opted to keep um, Specs, Dutch, and uh, Beret over here off table to use my tunnels for a later turn, uh, end of first turn. Um, we've got one of my juvies with the last pistol and my auto gun ganger hanging over here. Um, that's uh, Bionicle Monocle, and then we've got my Heavy, the Heavy Stubber, and Trips the Ganger, hanging it up top. Uh, my last one over here um, with his Laz Gun, uh, and you've got the last Juby with Laz Pistol on this flank. Across from us, we've got Jakara, Yeld, um, and then we got Venom and the Aorus Hulk Hands, and the last Jakara is on the flank over here. So, first turn, we're gonna dice off see who goes first, grudge match style. Right, going first. I got a four, so it's gonna be me. So we're gonna run with my, they, they keep sliding back down this thing, so we're actually up here. Okay. So <laughs> we're gonna run eight and just be on top of this with my first juvie. Um, my ganger is in much the same spot because he was standing next to him. And they're gonna hang over there. Starbucks gonna stay where he is, Mr. Lasgun. That's Chips is gonna run up here. This ganger is gonna run up to the flank. And then his friend, the juvie, is gonna run up as well. And hang on over here. All right, gonna try and blast this yell. Here we go, down up some shots, two sustained fire dice. I get three, four shots, all right? They all get resolved individually. So uh, 40 inch range, which means I'm definitely in range because we're both eight inches on the table. Um, and you're in cover for minus one, so that means I hit on fives. First one, misses. Second one, misses. Third one, misses. Fourth one on a five, come on. Nope, nothing. Just empties the rounds into nowhere. Killers arrive, coming from this giant air vent underneath them. So Dutch is going to be hanging out over here in cover with some line of fire, uh, specs, and then Beret with his last gun, last pistol, hanging out over here. So movement phase, Jakara's going to go first. Yeah. This is the movement seven, Jakara. Uh, that is, is exactly the yeah. first. Yeah. <laughs> so I can run 14 crazy seven. fast. And you going to hide? Yeah, I think I'm going to actually hide. Okay, so hidden. Mm -hmm. Yell's going to go, yeah. Five up. Just, you know, this flap flap. Boost the Jakara. Yeah. And make a run. Five. Oh, she can walk and hide, yeah. Um, no, I think she'll run. She'll just run 10 yeah. into cover, makes sense. Take cover behind that fallen ladder. John can run 12. That's right, yeah, 12. He's crazy fast. Eight. And then four Nine. more. And because of his web slingers, he can climb any surface. So he does not need a ladder, even though there's a ladder there. So yeah, Oris can run eight. Yeah, we'll just get him eight. Um, we'll. Get him behind this Grab some cover. cover here. Looks good. You can shoot. You can see my leader. You can definitely see Specs over there, and you can definitely see Beret. Corbin Dallas, because he's got a Beret. <laughs> <All right. laughs> so you move for minus one. Uh, what's your range uh, bonus for your laser? Is good. Okay, so, so minus two, your ballistic skill is four, so fives. It's basically a last gun. 
Yeah. Misses. Misses. With the Spire team just getting into position, that was basically their turn one. So my turn two. We're mostly just going to hold our ground here because everybody's kind of got a good line of fire. He's going to move four just to get out of the way. And actually, he's going to go two, drop down, and just be around here because that'll get me to four. Like that. He's going to move up and just head four over to here because I want to stay inside um, my nerve test in case I get pinned, but I don't want to be not able to shoot later on and he's also going to just run because he's on range this turn he's going to grab some cover over this way but i'll be able to test to unstick pinning some shots we're going to start off with my heavy stubber he can still see that yelled through these stanchions and cover so let's get some sustained fire dice and try not to run ammo one shot well it's looking unlikely i run ammo now two shots all right that dice is fired so i need um cover and that's it so i need fives first one it misses second one Misses, you're doing great so far. Actually, six is it. We forgot the yelled is chameleonic. As long as he doesn't run during a turn, he gets an additional minus one because his wings wrap around him as he finishes. Um, so that's that, which means he's going to be minus two to hit with all these fools over here, which is going to be good for you. And you hid with everybody else. So uh, Mr. Autogun over here is going to take a shot at your Jakara, who's in cover. Um, so we've got long range and cover. I did not move, however. Jakara on a five. Oh. Gonna hit. All right, so it's a four plus ammo check when this is all done. Strength three, toughness three. Doesn't wound. Uh, you will make a pin test though, so she'll be face up. And do I run out of ammo? I do, so my auto gun's out. Taking a shot at Jakara here as well. I moved though, so I'm hitting on a six. That's with chips. Last gun. Yep. Hits. So it's a two plus ammo roll, luckily. Let's see if I wound you on a four. Nope, and I don't run ammo. We're gonna shoot the Malkadon with him because I think he's actually slightly closer than the Yeld. Um, and so he is the priority target. And that means we will hit him on minus one for cover. Didn't move, so fives. Miles gun, hit. Uh, forced wound, don't wound. And that's it for him, but he's gonna make a pin test. All right, so he'll also have to make a pin test. Uh, the Spires have a special ability where they're basically all leaders. They can always test to unpin. Um, so you're hidden here, so my closest target's gonna probably be the Jakara. You can see that yell through the floor, and it's closer to the Jakara than the Malkadon. Um, I have a bolt pistol, which I think can shoot 16. You know, minus nothing. You're in cover, though, so that's gonna be minus one. Uh, did not move, so I hit on a, and that is my backup leader, so I hit on a three normally, goes to a four. Misses. Gang leader, can see your yelled, so he is the closest target. I'm gonna have to shoot him, because there's nobody in the open for me to ignore him with. So minus two for your cover, um, and your, uh, crazy wings, so I've hit you on a five. And a miss. Shot coming up for Mr. Beret, same thing. Long range of the last gun, so hitting on sixes because you are minus two to hit from your chameleonic wings. Uh, five will not hit. Lock turn two, a lot of smoke but no fire. So top of your turn, you have nobody down, so no pin tests, or sorry, no uh, bottle test. And you can check to unpin as you move people, unless you want to do some charging. So Jakara here is gonna charge Dutch. Uh, I can definitely see him coming out of hiding. So you have a 14 inch charge, in and you go. Oh, you got lots of room. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, fine. Eight and six. Oh, here we go. Here we go. He got work done last time. It's just gonna go. Another five. Okay, just take a walk. Uh, so you can maintain his chameleonic status and keep trying to las gun people. That's right. That's for the Jakara initiative. Uh, that's a good question. Probably Was four? It, no, it's three. Three, okay, so three. And three. passed, so yep. she's unpinned. Okay. I mean, she can operate normally. Yeah. So let's go with her. She uh, could run 10 or move five and hide. Yeah, she's not going to be able to get behind cover with five. So, sorry, I shouldn't be measuring, but yeah. That's okay. Go run 10. Yeah. Venom knock it on initiative test. Initiative I think he's initiative, initiative four. Four. Yeah, that's right. So four or less. Yes. On pins, he's fine. Okay, and he's going to be going up. Okay. So it's three inches to get to the next level, and then you've got nine left if you run. So you wouldn't be able to charge me, but you could definitely get into cover and be in charge range. So what I'm going to do is go up and then hide behind, not hide, but uh, sort of stay Be behind there. there. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Again with Hulk hands, he's toughness five, which means he almost doesn't even care about cover because everything I have wounds him on sixes. <laughs> it's there. terrifying. She yelled, shooting chips is the closest target. Uh, you'll be at plus one hit for range, minus one for moving, and minus one for cover. Okay. So you'll be on a th four. three goes to four. Four, yeah. Oh, you charge Dutch to attacks. You both have parry, so no one gets a parry. No. Um, and I have a sword and a plaza pistol, which I'm going to hit you with my plaza pistol if I hit you. So you get. Whoa. Okay, so I got 11 because I have weapon skill 5 from the last game. You got an 8, 9 because you charged. 
Yeah. I hit you twice with a pause pistol. Oh, no one meshes with Arnold oh, Schwarzenegger. <laughs> All right, so two strength fours. Uh, two wounds, minus one to your save, so you get a six plus armor and a five plus mirror shield save. So two six plus armors. Nope. And five plus mirror shield. Oh. No, wow. and you're down. Yeah. You flush wound and down it, so he gets the kill. Smash! I was in the guard. We used to take officers like you out back and beat you with a fire hose. Um, so, yeah, so I don't get a follow move because it's not my active turn. Uh, it's going to be top of turn four for the Orlocks. Charges. I'm going to charge with uh, Mr. Specs into your Jakara over here because she didn't get to hide. So, we are moving. Eight into melee. This is one of the things in Necromunda, you need small hands. Yeah. <laughs> just get out of the way. So you're just gonna get into point blank range and be the guy who gets charged if anyone gets charged. Be like, hey, go see what's over there. Okay, boss. <laughs> Terrifying, dress like a giant spider. Um, so that's done. Let's do some, uh, who else needs to move? I don't think, I guess the boss moves. I wanna shoot that yelled, but he's super hard to hit. Uh, you need to shoot that yeld as well. Can you still see him? Yeah, you can. Here's an interesting right. point. Chameleon only works at long range, so it's actually worth my while to move. Even though I get the offset penalty, I get plus one to hit for a short range, um, and then he loses his chameleon bonus. So that's a big deal. Um, same with you. You're gonna move in to here, even though you're at a cover now. I also think it's pretty happy standing still, so let's light some guys up. Greatest of all young people we've sent to our deaths. So you have a LAS pistol, which I believe is plus one to hit at short range. Plus. Which is pretty nice. Yeah, plus two. Uh, plus two at short yeah, range, okay. Um, so you're in cover for minus one, and I move for minus one, so I'm just hitting on a five, because I'm both skill two. Do it! Of yeah! Of course you win. Strength three. <laughs> Doesn't wound, but you're pinned. She ran up to you yelling bang bang. There wasn't actually any bullets in the gun, we didn't give him any ammunition. So now he's gonna shoot him. Same target because I can't see the Oris. Uh, so short range for plus one, minus one for cover. Fours, misses. Uh, ditto over here because I'm within 12. Short range and then minus one for cover. Hits for that one, forced wound. Doesn't wound. What's next time, guys? Uh, over here, I can see the yelled. Yeah. Uh, I'm within 16, so I'm at zero mod with my LAS pistol. You're at minus two, so I can't hit you because I can't even hit on sevens. Um, over here, closest thing's probably still the yelled. I'm at minus two because it's long range, so I need a six. Six plus. Nope. Shots the heavy stubber. Can only see the Malkadon is the closest. We get two, uh, five total. So the first one, uh, it's within 20, it's zero mods for the gun forever, uh, but you're in cover, so I hit on five. So the first one. Misses, second one, misses, new dice required. <laughs> Third one, <laughs> misses, fourth one, you're the worst heavy ever. Fifth one, the odds say I should do this once per game. I don't even hit, buddy, you're out. Um, so I think that's the back team here, mostly having shot. We pinned the Malkadon, and that was really it. So we're going on over here, we're gonna do Dutch, he's within eight with his plasma pistol. I think we just go full power. Maximum effort, let's do this. I'm plus two to hit, minus one for cover, minus one for moving. So hitting on a three. Hits. All right, strength five, so I wound on twos. Come on, yeah, we wound, minus two to your save. Um, so that's going to be, I think you only have a five plus armor. No, I can't do a seven plus <laughs> save, so we'll roll to see what happens to you. Your flush one. What happens? On a five plus, the gun stays stable. On a three, four, I can't fire it next turn because it's to cool down. On a one or two, it goes critical and I shoot myself D three times. Uh, three. A three, so that's gonna be, can't be fired next turn as it cools down. The gun's gonna fire, he's plus one for range, minus one for move, minus one for cover. So he's gonna hit on fives. Miss the specs charge into the Jakara that doesn't have any upgrades yet. So you're up in skill four, I'm up in that's skill right. four. Let's see what happens. You roll on the box, I roll on the ground. Uh, we both have a parry, so you've got five, goes to nine. Um, I've got five, goes to nine, goes to ten because I charge. So I hit you once with my flail. Four, so threes to wound. Doesn't wound, that's a one. Turn, I flush wounded you, so no bottle rolls. Um, so you just need to start checking for unpinning and charging. Pin here, so you can charge. You do, so you can just charge me. And you go into the GV. Fear test. I am totally afraid of you. He was broken. He's gonna flee at the end of the turn and take a free strike basically as he runs away. So looking for uh, recovering pinning for the yell. Uh, one to three, he does. So he can act normally this turn. So where do you wanna go, Mr. Yeld? Remember you can fly too, so you don't need to go. You can just go hop up to the next level if you want. Cause you can flap, flap, flap 10 okay, inches. Let, yeah, let's get up to somewhere around there. Okay, we can go five, so just measure five up and you're fine. I'm pretty sure you can just go to cover in the next level. Four, three, and then 
Somewhere there. Yeah, it's just a straight line. Uh, Tanky Oris is gonna move back and start bolt launching my poor guy with an auto gun. Right. Who's out of ammo, by the way, so you don't really have to be worried about shot back because all I have now is the last pistol. We have the Yeld and the Oris that can go. Yeah. A four here, because you must go four, minus one for my cover. It's a one, I think. Uh, nope, yeah. Yeah, it's a one, so you miss. In the open here, because he's an option, he'll be on sixes for long range and move, so no hit. It's the Malkadon. I'm weapon skill one because I'm currently afraid. So I have a knife and a pistol, though. Yeah, so you got a six, goes to ten, goes to eleven, goes to twelve because you charged. Right. I have a six, so you hit me five times. Get impaled, three wounds, that looks like four wounds, yeah. and then don't roll four ones, and I'm dead. <laughs> you take an action, and you make me those two ones. <laughs> I got flush wounded twice, but that actually still kills me because I'm only up to skill plus skill two. Yeah. So he's taken out, whoop, and you get some experience. I'll move two inches, and is your turn not next, so you might want to go back into cover. Yeah. <laughs> do that. I'll just put him back. Alright. Next, two attacks to my two attacks. Let's see who's gonna win this one. Open skill five, open skill four. Uh, I get a three as my highest. You get a six. So I have an eight. Um, and you ten. and you've got well no, you've got ten, eleven because I fumbled. Um, and that means that you hit me three times. So three's to wound. Three wounds. See what happens. Roll three ones and I live. Otherwise I'm out of action. No, you took Dutch out. Dutch, and actually, you got one extra hit there. That was um, my flail guy, because he gives up double bonuses for uh, fumbles with his flail. So okay. you took him down. And actually, you got one extra hit because I'm only weapons go four and I'm skill five because that wasn't Dutch in combat. Relevant though, because he's still super out of action, so you can make a two-inch follow-up. I think I will probably get away from the. Uh, no, it would be that that way, right? Yep. It's any way you want. Um, a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully, they're charging your Dutch. I need a bottle roll. I have nobody down, but I have two guys out of action. Um, so it's over to me. I have to make some charges. All right, Dutch is just going to move up to the edge here. Four. Stay in cover between me and you. Because I definitely can't uh, charge you this turn. Do much the same thing over here. We're just going to move up four. Heading towards. Whoop. Here's your carrot. I'm tempted to just run away from this Oris with this guy, but your Malkin is going to charge me next turn no matter what I do almost. Yeah, it's there's no good play here. <laughs> I stand and die. I have a pistol, so I guess I just stand there and pistol you. Shooting phase, going to dob some shots in my heavy. I'm just going to put them all into the Eld. See if we can finish them off. Uh, th two plus one is three shots total. Uh, let's check them within 20 because then you don't get your wings. You are partially obscured. Whoop. Actually, no, you're not at all obscured <laughs> here in the open. Um, so that's going to be on fours. Hits. Uh, strength four, so threes to wound. There's one wound. And then what kind of wound? Two. So you are down. Second shot, fours. Hits, and it's an ammo roll. Threes to wound. Wounds. What kind of wound? You're down again. And then uh, ammo roll on a four plus. I, run of, uh, or I don't run out of bullets. I do run a bullet, so I lose my last shot. One initiative test, uh, because he was hit while nearby, and see if he falls. Not that it's going to do any damage to him, but he'll be safe if he gets out of the way. So you get uh, initiative of three, and you can reroll because you have a skull chip. You're full. Oh, Dutch can't go full power this gun. Yeah. Dutch doesn't even have a gun right now. Never mind. Dutch can't even shoot you. I don't know why I just didn't run with Dutch. <laughs> I forgot I was cooling down my gun. Um, so Beret's going to shoot you. He's got his last gun, um, which is plus one at 12 inches, minus one because he moved, minus one for cover. So that's going to be a total of minus one overall. So hitting on a five. That's a five. Winning on a four. Ooh. That's a wound. Uh, you've got your mirror shield and your armor. So five plus armor and five plus mirror shield. Five plus armor. Nope. Five plus mirror shield. Nope. nope. And you're just down, face down. Uh, Chips is going to take a shot short range in the open against the Jakara, uh, closest model. So we're going to be hitting on threes because plus one misses, of course. Uh, then um, my Juvie can't see anything because you laid down. Last gun here can probably still see you. Let's just check. Oh yeah, for sure. So uh, you'll have cover though. Uh, minus one, I'm not within 12. So that's gonna be minus one and minus one for, no, just minus one, yeah, just minus one. So it's a five. Nice. This guy left, I'm gonna use my backup, which is my last pistol, see if I hit you. Last pistol's plus two at short range, minus one for cover. Um, so hitting on a two normally goes to a three because of the cover save. Hits, we got four wounds. Uh, you get your five plus armor. Yep. Let's see if I can make one armor Do it, today. do it, nope. nope. And then what happens? No, no, you are no. down, face down. Now it's going to be my turn. Now it's a bottle test. Do I drive off the spires? Their leadership six because their leadership seven guys down. The Oris, does he laugh? 
Nope. Oh, and they take off, driven back by the staunch spiders of Necromunda. Post game, the down guys on a one to three they recover or to a flush wound. So the Malkadon, flush wounds, uh, the Yeld. He's gonna have to make an injury roll, and then the Jakara. Injury roll as well. So serious injuries, you're yelled out of action. He is multiple injuries. And what is that? So D6 times. And that's gonna be two times. Sorry, D3 plus one times. So it's only actually two times. Two times, okay. Um, and all dead, multiple injuries, and captured in full recovery get rolled again. So first one, 65. Impressive scars. He's now plus one leadership, of course. Okay, great. Uh, second one is 56, which is Bitter Enmity. Who does he hate? Oh my god, they're all good. So he gets plus one leadership, and now he hates my entire gang. Okay, awesome. Or sorry, the individual who inflicted the injury, okay, which so in this case would be my... shot him. I shot the him heavy. with the heavy, so you're gonna hate my heavy. Okay. Yeah, you hate... You hate, uh, what's his name? Blaine. Blaine the Heavy. Now we've got the Jakara. Jakara, this is the fast one or no, the not fast, fast one? one? This is the normal, normal one. Okay, yeah. normal Jakara. Multiple injuries? <laughs> Just get all plus one leadership again. Just do it. Oh, it's D3. Oh, D3 D3 yeah. first. How many? D3 plus one. That's going to be three. three. So three rolls. First roll is going to be 26, 26, which is a blind in one eye. Oh, minus one ballistic skill. That's not okay. a huge deal for you. One. Uh, it's going to be 52, three. which is four recovery. So you rolled again. Okay. 52 becomes 64, 64, which is horrible scars. Causes fear. Yeah. Okay. So even though you have killer up, now you cause fear twice. And the last one is 23, which is a leg one. Minus one uh, movement. Shakara, what happens to her? No 16. No 16. Oh, dead. Oh no! <laughs> Just slain. Slain. We do not take kindly to Jakaras in this. Right, let's see what happens, uh, my Juby. And you faced Malkadon and died immediately. So there's one of your five kills. You need to go back up high and get healed. Um, and then my uh, second one, backup leader, Specs. Specs 25. That's going to be a head wound. So every game I have to roll to see what happens to him. All right, so your vow is one fifth complete now. You've lost a team member and somebody got gimped a little bit. And then somebody also got really good rolls. So let's do some experience. So bonus, he's getting D6 plus five experience per team member surviving, plus all the wounds he caused. So, so... Uh, we'll see what the level ups are after this. All right, he leveled up once on the Oris, twice on the Jakara, twice on the, sorry, twice, twice on the Malkadon, twice on the Yeld, and then three times on the last Jakara. That's all broke. So let's see what you got for level. Hands, he gets double, double ones. One, which is power boost. Oh, Randomly man. roll a boost from the appropriate spider to right. uh, Oris. This can be terrifying. And he gets a two. two. Power field strengthened. Oh. So it increases the save to plus five. He has a five plus invul now. Plus let's roll twice. First roll is gonna be a three. three which is new skill. Okay. the skill the Yo, It's gonna be. One, One catfall. So, um, a model of the catfall skill can take an initiative test. If the test is passed, and he suffers no damage from the fall, but will still be pinned. So he just falls and lands at however he wants. Um, the fighter is no longer restricted to jumping down from heights of no more than three inches, and can instead jump down from any height. So you can just literally jump down from here, yeah. and if you pass an initiative test, be fine. Next one. Eight. Eight. Characteristic leadership or initiative. Oh, well, leadership. One to three. Yeah, it's leadership. Leadership eight. Nope. Leadership seven. Initiative. Oh, it's initiative. Okay. Oh, he's good at getting up and down buildings. He sure um, is. Initiative five is pretty good. Yelled now. Once he yelled. Okay, and he's got two. Yep. His first one is three a three. New skill. skill. Uh, shooting skill, probably. Shooting, yeah, okay. Rolling for shooting skill, and you get a two, two which is going to be fast shot. You can go on Overwatch even if you moved in the same turn. First one for a yell. Another three, skill. Same shooting again. Shooting. Might as well. Look for marksman. Six. No, rapid fire. If you Five. don't move, two shots a turn. Look like Jakara with three advances. <laughs> we need some movement skills here. You need a power boost, what you need. Nine. Nine, and that is characteristic. Wounds or toughness? Come on, Come wounds. on, wounds. Come on, wounds. Nope. Toughness. Toughness, toughness four, though. It's still That's pretty good. Second one. Eight. Eight. Initiative leadership. Come on, leadership. No. It's going to be initiative. Initiative, initiative four now. On. Although, did he lose one? No, I don't think so. You lost uh, ballistic, ballistic skill on him? Skill yeah. And Final roll. Four. Four. And that is a new skill. And for Jakara should be surely... Combat, maybe? Agility? Jakara could be agility. Let's agility can get you sprint, which means yeah. you run 12 again. That's, that's what I need. Okay, roll okay. six, you get sprint. 
That's a one. It's gonna be Catfall as well. Four guys leveled, Dutch leveled again. Uh, this time Blaine leveled, uh, Beret leveled, and Stripper Dave uh, leveled as well. My one GB that survived. The other one got shot. Or sorry, got eaten by a Malkadon. His spinal column and head are being taken back to the hive this game. Uh, so let's roll up for Dutch and see what he gets. He... Oh, come on. There <laughs> it gets an eight. Uh, new characteristic increase. He's weapon skill six now. <laughs> He is, he is, he is, like, definitely not to be screwed with this guy. Weapon skill six, I've now capped out Dutch's weapon skill. He is Conan the Barbarian strong. Um, so the next one's gonna be Blaine. Blaine, does he have time to duck? He gets a nine. Char characteristic increase, wounds and toughness. Wounds, doesn't have time to bleed. Ray, let's see what he gets. Eight, characteristic increase, weapon skill, bliss skill. He's gonna get bliss skill, he gets bliss skill four, that's pretty good. All right, Super Dave, what do you got? You're gonna win. Six, which is weapon skill, bliss skill, and you're gonna become a better shot. So end of game, of course, the um, there's no real post game for the spires as far as collecting territories and stuff. I have four healthy gangers that can go to the friendly dock. Oh, I forgot, I have a friendly dock save for my dead Juvie on a five plus, he just lives. No, he's dead. <laughs> he was, they brought in his headless torso and were like, what can you do with this? And the doctor was just like, uh, do you guys know how humans work? <laughs> so um, let's go and work the friendly dock now and see what he gets. Uh, he sells the body for 10 credits, um, then we've got uh, two settlements, which puts it at 70. Do either of them replace my casualty? Uh, 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 nope, stories about headless juvies drive off all the young people. And then finally the mineral egg crop brings in 40 this round, and that's going to give me 110. Give me 40 credits overall after I feed my eight guys, because um, you're, wait, you're dead. You're dead. Yep, you died. Um, and so now I get to go and do some shopping. Let's see how many rare trades I get. I keep blowing all my money on rare trades. Only one. Let it be a power sword. Rare trade chart. Let's see what I want. I really want that power sword. Foam me double ones. Do it. Oh, oh. just mocking me. Uh, so rare weapon. It's going to be a four rub pistol. Well, all right then, we got a web pistol. 20 plus 46, there is no way I'm buying that. Uh, so I think all we're gonna be able to do is spend 40 credits and rehire a fresh Juby to replace the ranks uh, and put him back in, which puts us down to six credits in the bank. Casualty and your vow incomplete, you're gonna voluntarily go back up Hive and replenish the ranks. Now the great thing about this is he's automatically gonna get to re-recruit any one new Spire Noble he wants. And if you can pass a leadership test, you get your gear back on, you go back down, otherwise you stay. So everyone kind of got a leadership boost here, except the Oris. I'm okay. pretty sure Hulk Hands is the one who might not come back. And he's the most dangerous of all of them. He's just like, whatever, I did my job, I killed everything, I never died. Starting um, with him then. So starting with him then, leadership six, see if he stays. Oh, oh. oh no, he's gone. So Hulk Hands is retired. Uh, who's next? Your um, Malkadon? Malkadon yeah. So Venom. Nope. Nine. No, he's gone too. He decides that life in the hive is uh, far too important. Malkadon. Your Jakara. Eight. Uh, Did you no, stay? Don't have, no. no, gone. All right. And then your last, uh, your Yeld. Here's your seven. Somebody, uh, somebody come back. Me. Yeah, so the Yeld comes yeah. back. So he heals all of his serious injuries and then he comes back down with four fresh. Spar hunters. So there it was, the story arc of the uh, silent death ending as they go up hive. They did their gap year in the underhive hunting poor people. Didn't make a lot of noise. No, the yell comes back because he's like, I didn't really do anything. But they've uh, they've mounted the one head of a young blood over their fireplace and they tell Hulk their Hans. stories. Yeah, uh, Hulk Hans is, yeah, he's just like, whatever man, it wasn't so bad down there, I'm fine. I got really tough, I punched some dudes, I shot some guys, and I went home after three games. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, the, the worst part is that you heal all your serious injuries, which means all your good ones go away too. Yeah. So all your impressive scars go away, all your horrible scars go away, and you just come back like as like a dude. But I imagine the impressive scar for Aspire is like, look, I cut my elbow. It's like right there, it's really deep, it's really bad, and they're just like super impressed with each other. He also lost his hatred. He did lose his hatred, yeah, he lost a bit of enmity. Well, he probably just drank it away, because like he's got up high, you know, he's having a vacation. He gets a little bored and he wants to go back down and hunt some poor people in the dark. Uh, <laughs> which is, that's pretty much what the Spires do. So um, that was super fun, Marcel. Thanks for coming in, man. I really enjoyed these Outlander games. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching them too. We'll see you next time for more Throwback Thursday. Till then, I'm Ash. This is Marcel. I'm Gaming.